Hi, my name is Rod. I'm Rice Prestwich. I'm Logan Sanford. Uh, my name is Sean Weeks. And this is Lucy, the drone we build for the IM3D competition. Having formed the ASME chapter at the beginning of January, the entirety of our drone was designed and built in a span of two and a half months. This is a testament to the use of rapid prototyping and 3D printing. New parts were produced every week, improving on the previous versions. Adept flight hardware selection in a true stretch X orientation, along with an emphasis on lightweight parts, resulted in a competitive race design. To design the arms, we use a topology optimization study. This maximizes the strength of each arm while minimizing the material used. ABS was used for rigid mounting points, and flexible TPU was used for vibration isolation and impact resistance. Print layer orientation was used to build strength in the body, while print density ensured breakaway parts would work correctly. Perfect. The design of our drone evolved to become optimal at performing the tasks of the competition. We were careful to check the vibration qualities and characteristics to make sure that too many vibrations did not propagate down the arm and into the flight controller. These factors give agility to the drone and control for our pilot. We develop grabbers to ensure consistent and reliable payload handling. This drone has two cameras, one for flight visibility and one for better visibility on the bottom side of the drone when picking up payloads. The ability of our drone to drive and land gives a competitive advantage. Some components are modular, such as the arms, and can be attached at any arm slot on the body. The more sensitive electrical components are placed on a detachable platform, ensuring all components can be easily serviced and, if necessary, replaced. Interlocking faces allow for a majority of the parts to be attached with a single fastener. We designed a joint so that during a crash, it will break before the larger components, saving time with equipment maintenance and money for reprint costs and material waste. Uh, these crash straps are so that if the arm severs completely during the crash, then the motor wires will maintain connection to the main board.